This one is for this weekend's UFC main event, Marlon Chito Vera taking on Rob Font. There are so many similarities with these two guys, the way that they the way that they approach the fight. They're both very game. They're both great strikers. Um, I think Marlon Vera has got enough jujitsu to try to cancel out the grappling of Rob Font, which means that this is most likely going to be a, a striking affair with some wild scrambles mixed into the equation. Rob Font's coming in with a 19 and five record. Of course, he's you know he's coming off that loss to uh, Jose Aldo over five rounds, um, but he is also coming off a win over Cody Garbrandt over five rounds as well. So that sets him up for this main event because, as far as I understand, this is Chito Vera's first five round fight. Um, and, and, you know, that is going to be a key in this one because of the pace they both fight at. We know that Rob Font can maintain that pace to, to win a decision like he did against Garbrandt. Vera has got a very high-paced fight style. He's never, ever been stopped to either, which is something that really bodes well for him. However, this is a five-round fight. He's never been stopped, but he's also never fought over five rounds. So the, the question is, you know, can his style expand over five rounds over 25 minutes instead of 15 and and is there any vulnerability in those later rounds where you know we know rob font although he can be outpointed to a decision he you know he has got to stay in power for 25 minutes most finishes in the bantamweight division for uh, uh marlon vera and has also never been stopped very similar height and reach they're exactly the same both five foot eight rob font has a one inch reach advantage Marlon Vera predominantly is southpaw, but he does switch his stance. Rob Font is predominantly orthodox, but he does switch his stance. Vera tends to switch his stance to open up different opportunities for himself. So, you know, if you see him switch to orthodox, most likely he's going to throw a few more kicks. He does kick from both stances. He has a lovely switch knee as well. But if he switches to southpaw, it more likely means that he's going to be favoring his kicks over his punches. With Rob Font, he, he does switch stance, but it's much more to allow him to step through with power punches. You know, he, he'll throw the right hand and then step through to to um to southpaw and then throw another power punch off the, off the other side. Uh, Rob Font slightly higher with his takedown attempts, uh, 1.1 over 15 minutes. Uh, takedown accuracy is 36%, and that's coming up against a 69% takedown defense. Um, but then you look at the submission average of Cheeto Vera, 1.3 per fight. He's going to be throwing submissions at you. And, you know, there are going to be times when he, he might chain two or three different submissions together. Same as Rob Font, you know, good chain attacks from both of these guys. It's going to be a real electric main event, this one is. Don't, don't miss it, because... I feel like this one could certainly be a contender for fight of the year, and uh, and I'm I'm a big fan of both of these guys. So where they go in the oct in the in the division next, who knows? But the bantamweight division is electric. All right, enjoy these fights, and I'll catch you next time.